This video is brought to you by the No Fear community. Hi, welcome to this next installment of the No Fear video series. I'm really, really excited to introduce uh, today Ian Spector. We're going to have a conversation about uh, his experience as a best-selling author and entrepreneur and a degree from Brown University at Cognitive Neuroscience. Yeah. That sounds very, <laughs> very impressive. It's, uh, you know, I, I realized that I could just get away with neuroscience, but if I took like two extra classes that I wanted to anyway, I could get the cognitive, and then it sounds way more impressive for the rest of your life. So you see, now we have a real digital cowboy here talking about his experience today. I'm very excited, and uh, let's get started. Um, you know, the leaders that I look up to who I appreciate are the sorts of people who, you know, they inspire innovation. They don't mind people taking the time off to play around and see what they can come up with. You know, you, you don't make anything new or amazing happen by, you know, keeping people, you know, stuck in the same cycle over and over. Although for somebody like me, that's kind of a position where I start thinking like, well, how do we make this better? So it's an interesting topic. What do you think you can learn, can learn from the people that are more experienced? Um, see what didn't work for them. Mm -hmm. uh, and, you know, why it didn't work. Because you know, I, I have a hunch, you yeah. know, I don't have data to support this, but, you know, it's 2011. Presumably, a lot of the problems that we all encounter today have happened already in some other form or some other context. And it's just a matter of figuring out what that pattern is and how to change those solutions as things progress. So being open about uh, things that didn't go well and what are the key insights, I think that's one. Yeah, and you know, mm -hmm. stop like blaming mm -hmm. people. You know, I'm very self-conscious and self-aware. I don't like people telling me that you know I screwed up or did something wrong. But you know, a lot of times you can't move forward if we don't. If somebody doesn't recognize, like, oh, this is a problem. We don't. We we should fix it. As opposed to like, this is a problem, but I don't want to lose my job. And if if you're a twenty-something new employee at a company, why shouldn't you? If you see something wrong, yeah. something that's like, why does this happen? Mm -hmm. It doesn't make sense. Why shouldn't you be able to like go to your boss and ask like, well, why does this happen? And if they don't have an answer, go to their boss and ask why this happens. Like, so that would be totally normal for you to do oh. that instead of going jumping over hierarchical levels. Uh, yeah, I mean, I've always kind of taken the approach of you know, whenever I start a project, it's you know, how do we make this better? Yeah, it's the direct communication with the person who could actually change something, and yeah. it doesn't really matter if they're in the same organization, if there's age difference, if there's a hierarchical difference. Yeah, I mean, it's just you know, why not do the best? What would be the key advice you would give them for helping people like you and building business in general? So you're asking, how do I tell the rest of the world to be great? Yes, please. <laughs> uh, that's a tall order. Um, I would, I mean, for me, it kind of boils down to what is the end user going to get from whatever it is you do? Um, you know, whether that's building software or like, you know, creating like a health plan or whatever the case may be. You know, how, how is somebody on the street who you have to make a customer going to use it and what's going to keep them coming back and not telling somebody like, hey, this sucks. Um, if you can figure that out, you'll, you're probably good. This video is brought to you by the No Fear Community.